Hey, I just wanted to give a quick thanks to one of our sponsors of Simple Programmer, which is Dev Mountain Bootcamp. You should go check them out. The link is in the description. They are a coding bootcamp and they can teach you web development, iOS development, UX design, a lot of good stuff. I get a lot of feedback from a lot of you out there that email me and have told me about Dev Mountain, so I decided to check them out myself. And I, I like what I found. I like their programs. They offer uh, some 12 week intensive programs. They also offer some after hours programs, which I know that some of you will like. So go check them out. You can see the link in the description below, Dev Mountain Bootcamp, and a big thank you to them for sponsoring Simple Programmer. Hey, what's up? John Sonma is here from simpleprogrammer.com. So I want to talk about today about how life is only going to get harder <laughs> and more difficult as we progress, whether we're talking about progressing in the field of computer science and software development and becoming better software developers or in fitness or finance or whatever it is that the competition is just going to get more fierce and life is going to become more difficult as far as, out, as, as becoming someone who is not mediocre, who is not confined to me mediocrity and is, is someone who outstands or outshines other people who is at the top of their game, becoming that, you know, that we, we always have this debate between the 1% and the 99%, but becoming that 1% becomes harder and harder as it becomes a smaller, smaller number as that 80-20 rule diminishes into a 90-10, which diminishes into a 95-5 or whatever. It doesn't have to add up to 100, but I think, I think you get my point. But I thought this was something that that a lot of philosophers in the past have talked about and is something that we should be very cognizant of today because I think a lot of people are holding on and, and waiting for things to get easier or feeling like life is unfair and they want the fairness place to come and make things fair and happy and, and pleasant for them. But what they don't realize is that all that time that they're waiting for to, to get their judgment to, to get their justice, what they think is justice, is is time wasted while the hamster wheel keeps on spinning and they're getting further and further behind. So I don't mean to, to say this to discourage you. I mean it to light a fire under your ass and to encourage you to make you realize that basically this, right? The programmer of today has to know so much at a very basic level, okay, to so much more than the programmer of 10 years ago had to learn, and especially of 20 years ago. Now, things were harder, there were less tools, yes, but there were less programming languages and there was less to learn. If you think about the amount of information, I've talked about this before, I think I've done a video on and everything a web developer needs to know, like how much that is, today, the amount of information that you need to know to be a web developer today, the language you need to learn from JavaScript, to HTML, and you gotta understand the basics of XML, and CSS, and and oh, what JavaScript frameworks, and then you know how you're running on the server side, and distributions, and continuous integration, and source control, and all of this stuff, right? For more information, you can check out, uh, I've got a book coming out on Complete Software Developer's Career Guide, and it goes over everything you need to know as a software developer developer in one of the sections there. But the amount of information that you need to know today to succeed is huge. It's, it's so much more than the average programmer needs to know 10 years ago. So, so if you went back in time, if you took the amount of knowledge that you have today and you went back in time just 10 years ago, you'd be the best programmer in the world. You'd be the top, right? But that's just at a basic level, just to compete at this level. The, the, the top developers today are you know, at, at a very high level. And if you imagine 10 years from now, it's going to be more. It's going to be even more, right? If you think about it too, just progressing through time, right? There was a period of time where I forgot, I was reading some book and, and they're like basically saying that the highest that someone could hope to achieve in their whole life was to learn calculus. And now we teach that in high school, right? That, that's the beginning of math, really, in, in, the, in the respect of, in the large scale of things, right? It took people lifetimes to learn this stuff, or lifetime, and, and now we, we start at a very small level, or, or like take geometry, right? The Euclidean geometry was something that, you know, was the highest level, and now it's a basic, you know, elementary level type of thing, and we, we've expanded beyond that. And if you look at things like the four-minute mile, what's his name? I just it just spaced my name, the guy that broke the four minute mile, and then everyone broke the four minute mile. So 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 the point is this, right? The point is this. You are always going to be racing. 
you're always going to, the world is not stopping, especially technology. And so it's always gonna require more and more to be at the top of the game. So there, there's, there's a few things you can draw from this, okay? First of all, you can't rest on your laurels. Just because you've accomplished something or achieved something doesn't mean that you get to just sit and hold the title because people are going to be chasing after you and the technology, the field, whatever it is is going to be moving forward. There's going to be a higher standard per progress. You can't stop progress. It's always going to be moving forward. So I think it's very tempting to have an achievement or to win something or to reach a point and to think that you're done. You're never done. One of my favorite books, the very first chapter in the book by David Data, uh, The Way of the Superior Man, you can check that out. He, it, the very first chapter is how you're never done and that stop waiting for things to be done. Really, just really good advice. If you just read the one chapter in that book, I think that would, that would be valuable to you, but the whole book is really good even though it's a little bit weird. <laughs> but, but, but my point is this, right? So that you have to realize that it's going to advance. You're gonna to have to constantly take it to the next level. And again, that's why, part of the reason why I created this channel is why I make a lot of these videos is why a lot of what I do, what I do, sometimes people are like, John, why do you keep, why are you pushing? Why are you running 40 miles a week? Why are you doing all this shit? Like, I would just be vacationing and having a good time. And I'm like, well, you, you don't understand. I'll lose it all. Like, <laughs> it, it, the world is moving forward. If I go and, yeah, it doesn't mean I can't ever take a break or, or take a time out, but I don't want to be behind. I, I want to keep on taking myself, getting myself ready for the next challenge that life's going to bring me and keep on improving myself. Self-development and improvement is, is the path, is the way, and you've got to follow that path. So that's, that's one of the reasons why I created this channel is because, again, for you as a person, I think that you need to focus on constantly developing yourself in all of the areas of your life and if you don't you're going to get left behind and those standards are going to be higher and higher the, the mediocrity is growing the the that 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 is going to be large right most people are going to be mediocre it's going to be very hard to be a star and and you see this right that that Prado's law it just it's just the divide grows larger and larger with communication and technology those are the accelerators of this to be famous today to be a movie star or a rock star is much harder there's a much bigger pool of people and fewer stars because it's more concentrated, right? And to be the winner in a, in a market is, is more important and it's more difficult to do, but there's higher rewards. Look at the app store. You look at all those places where kind of it's a winner takes all type of situation and software development is becoming like that. The best software developers are getting paid. I, I know I'm coaching some of them, I'm talking to some of them and they're getting paid $200,000, $300,000 a year, sometimes more than that. Whereas the, the lowest paid software developers, that wage is actually dropping. <laughs> it's actually dropping, right? Or, or it's actually dropping to zero because if you're, if you're one of the lower tier, you're not even getting hired. The people just want to hire the rock stars, right? And those guys are getting all the money and all, all the work or at least so, so that, that, that divide is, is growing. So what, what is, again, the point of all this? Don't, don't be average. Be freaking awesome. <laughs> like excel, if you're gonna do something, I, I say I say it all the time, nine or above, right? You know, do it all out. Bring it balls to the wall. You you got to you gotta realize that you can never stop, that it the world is gonna keep on going, it's gonna keep advancing in all those areas, and you gotta keep up. You gotta keep on getting better every day. You need to be better. You can't you can't, you know, otherwise you're gonna find that you're gonna left you're gonna be left behind and you're gonna be trying to play catch up. Like a lot of people email me that are in that situation. A lot of them are older developers and they're complaining they're angry at the world and I understand why but they got left behind because they didn't stay on that treadmill they didn't keep on pushing and keep on growing their skills and I think it's ageism I'm not saying that ageism doesn't happen but a lot of times that's not the problem right and and a lot of you a lot of people's problems is not that the world or life is unfair it's that it's growing and changing too damn fast and they didn't keep up and that what used to be expert what used to be sage level what used to be a wise person is now a fool it, it's now a much or i don't want to say fool because wisdom and i think wisdom is, is sort of universal but what i'm saying is the amount of information that you have to have the skill level that you have to have is now higher than it was so you're still thinking that you know you're at the level you were at the top of your game 10 years ago but you're not anymore now you're at the bottom of the game now you're below the bottom and and that's why you're not you're not going to get the job so hopefully you find this 
useful and not too discouraging. Uh, hopefully it lights a fire under some of your asses. It just means you got to get better every day. And you can. You just have to improve. You just have to be on that path of continuous improvement. And, and you, don't, you don't just take a rest and just say, I'm done. You're never done. You're never done learning. You're never done growing. You know, you, you, you can rest when you're dead. There you go. All right. Rest when you're dead. Click the subscribe button while you're alive. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.